104 representatives of the Royal Navy, who will march on behalf of their friends and comrades past the Cenotaph in London in front of His Majesty the King on Remembrance Sunday. They come from across the service. Sailors and submariners, Royal Marines, Queen Alexandra's Royal Naval Nursing Service and Royal Fleet Auxiliary. All marching to the beat of His Majesty's Royal Marines Band Portsmouth Corps of Drums. Bringing everyone together is Royal Navy State Ceremonial Training Officer, Warrant Officer 1, Eddie Waring. Everyone here that you see here today joined us on the 24th of October uh, and ever since then they've been preparing um, not only their, their rifle sort of drills and things like that but also their kit to make sure that they're absolutely immaculate. It naturally comes, they don't necessarily possess it when they arrive and some of them are very young in age and maybe don't necessarily understand you know, the purpose of what we're trying to achieve as a service to, to represent those that gave the ultimate sacrifice but I think after a few days worth of training and, and things like that I think um, they, they start to get it. When I first came in, it was a bit of a, a bit of a hit the ground running experience. Uh, could barely even do rifle drill right, but then it, amazingly, it all just comes back to you from basic training, and everyone gets back into it. And because everybody's working so hard to get into the cenotaph, because they want to be representing the service. We've been rehearsing for the last couple of weeks now and we've been listening to previous ceremonies and services so that gave me an idea of how I'll feel on Sunday and brings a lot of emotions back, especially when I have lost colleagues you know, um, on the front line um, in Afghanistan in 2008, which was a busy tour. I was out there for six months with 3 Commando Brigade, working alongside Royal Marines in Sangin, which was quite a busy area. A.B. Holly Toms is representing her entire family when she marches, including her father, who's still serving after 43 years, time which included the Falklands War. I think it's brilliant because it means I get to honour him. Um, he joined, he was 16, and two years later, still very young, went to the Falklands. Um, he thinks that it's amazing that I get to do this because he lost so many people. He had friends and colleagues that he was very close with that unfortunately did pass away in the Falklands. Particularly from the nursing and sort of medical side of things, we're continuing to care for patients um, who are repatriated to us from all around the world, and some who do sadly lose their lives, but some who do recover really well from their injuries, and we're able to provide support to them. So it's remembering those that we've lost and those that continue to live on today. A diverse group of sailors, all trained to represent their service as the nation pays tribute to all who've served. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Portsmouth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.